So it has been two and a half years now since I started going gray. I'm completely through my gray hair transition and I still always get asked, what do I do to my hair? What are my favorite curly hair products? What are my favorite gray hair products? How do I style my hair? What do I do now that I'm like, I have all of this white? And so today's video is gonna be about my current white hair care routine or my gray hair, my silver hair, whatever you wanna call it. I have so many variations of color throughout my head. I have black, I have white, I have silver, I have gray. There's a lot happening on this head of hair, and today I'm just gonna tell you what my upkeep is. How do I fix my hair? What are my favorite products? What are the current gray hair products that I'm using right now? And I'm gonna show you how I style my hair along the way. So let's get into it. So hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee. I am gonna be 50 years old this year. I stopped coloring my hair two and a half years ago and fully transitioned to gray hair. If you're on the fence and you're trying to decide whether you should go gray and get rid of the dye, I highly recommend. I have so many videos on my channel about my process, my transition, how it made me feel, things I liked about it, things I hated about it. You can, you can just browse around on my channel and there's so much to see. But today's video is about how I'm taking care of my current gray hair, my current white hair, because I do right here have a lot of white hair. So I'm gonna walk you through my process from shower to now to dry and styled hair and just show you what I do. I use two different shampoos. I only shampoo my hair about once every, every three days. I use Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Shampoo. This is my normal shampoo. If I've been working out or my hair's really dirty or it's been sweaty and yucky, this is my normal shampoo. And then I always use the matching Mega Sleek Total Results Conditioner. My hair type is very curly, but each little strand of hair is little bitty and fine. So I can have a tendency for my curls to like blow up and separate. I can have frizz. And the Matrix Total Results is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. But about every three times that I wash my hair, I use Joico Purple Balance Shampoo. It keeps my white hair bright. It gets rid of any like dull yellowing or browning that I may have in my hair. It just keeps my hair sharp and white and crisp and I love it. I have an entire video on this purple shampoo. So if you wanna know more information about it, why I love it, how I use it, what it looks like, how long I keep it on my hair. I'll link that video right up here. Check it out, it's all about purple shampoo. And then people always say, well, do you use purple conditioner? The one time I used these two in combination together, my hair took on a lavender tint. No joke. Like right in here, I had a lavender hue to my hair. Too much purple for me, so I stick with the shampoo. I do not use the purple conditioner. But when I use my purple shampoo, I pair it with my regular conditioner, and then I rinse it out about 50%, and that's that. I get out of the shower. As soon as I step out of the shower, I wrap it in one of my husband's old t-shirts. It doesn't pull the water out of my hair. It keeps it still pretty super wet. And then once I'm ready to start dealing with my hair, I pull that shirt down around my shoulders and I just clip it with a regular chip clip that you would find in your kitchen. I use my Continuous Miss Mister. This thing is fantastic. One pump and it just squirts water forever. So I re-wet my hair. Any bit of wet that has been soaked out by the t-shirt, I do put back in with this Continuous Miss Mister. I need my hair to be really, really, really drippy, soppy, wet when I put product in it because if it is not soppy, soppy, wet, my hair will get really frizzy. The next two products I use together, I combine them, Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel and Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I put one pump of each in my hand, I flip my hair over, and I just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it into my hair. Then I flip my head back over, put one more pump of each, 
and I scrunch into the front of my hair, into the sides, really into my temples really good because that is where I tend to get frizzy and I just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. My last product is my favorite product. This is the one product that I absolutely cannot live without. If you were gonna put me on a deserted island and I could only have one hair product, it would be this. It is the Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. It is a slick, snotty, sticky, sort of like a honey consistency. It keeps my curls together. It gets rid of the frizz. It gives me bounce. It gives me hold. It keeps my hair looking just like this all day long. And so I put one pump into my hand, rub my hands together and bend over and again, scrunch it into my hair, making sure to get the ends of my curls really, really good. And then again, I flip over, one more pump in my hand and I do the front. Definitely around my face, my temple area, I just, the crown of my head, I just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch until it's in there and you can feel it. You can tell when it's in your hair. And I just make sure my whole head is squishy and wet and has all my product evenly distributed. I never run my fingers through my hair. Never, never, never. I only scrunch. I don't use a brush on my hair. I don't use a comb on my hair. It's only my fingers and I only scrunch. So while my hair is super wet and after it's full of product, the last thing and the most important thing I do is twisting. I have to twist my hair to get it to go in the direction that I want it to go around my face. So I will gently pull out one small section of hair and I just twist it. I'm twisting the roots basically. Twist, twist, twist the roots around my finger and then let go. And it's just kind of giving the hair a little bit of direction to guide it, to give it, to tell it what you want it to do. If I don't give some direction to the hair around my face, it just falls in my face. And so definitely right here around my face, in my part area and the top of my crown, I do that twisting around my finger to just gently guide my hair in the direction that I want it. So now it's time to dry my hair. My favorite, absolute favorite. I've been using this diffuser hair dryer for years and years and years. I love it, absolutely love it. Bedhead hair dryer diffuser. I love it for so many reasons. I've talked about it in so many videos, but it's just the per, it's not heavy. It is the perfect length. Like a regular diffuser, you're holding your arm out here. Like it's impossible to dry your hair. And I just love the fit of this. It's comfortable. It has a big wide mouth. You'll see when I flip over to dry my hair, I just set my hair in here, like plop my hair in and it dries my hair. It has two speed settings and two temperature settings. This is my favorite y'all. I'm gonna flip my head over and I'm gonna dry my hair until it's about 80% dry. For me, if my hair is wet the way I like it, that takes me about 10 minutes. And I continue to move the diffuser around, again, never running my fingers through my hair. Never, never run your fingers through your hair. I just grab a big chunk of hair, set it in the diffuser, and wait. Rotate my head upside down. I flip it from one side and then I flip it to the other side. And you can see that my hair naturally parts to the right. And so I do spend a lot more time drying my hair with my hair flipped to the right to help that part area, to bring volume to it. But again, I just back and forth and flip and turn and rotate and flip and it's a long process. Like I said, about 10 minutes to get my hair 80, 85% dry. Time to turn off the hair dryer. So the last thing I'm gonna do, I want to make sure that my hair is and my head are tilted to the right. Everything is going in the direction of my natural part. I turn off the hair dryer and I keep my head tilted to the right until my hair is completely cool. Maybe about a minute and then I'm gonna slowly bring my head upright. Now you can see that all of my hair is still hanging over to the right side and that is totally fine. I wanna leave it this way. There I may give my head a little gentle shake and let some natural pieces fall down or if some pieces are stuck, 
I may pull them down, but for now, I'm not going to mess with that part area because I want volume in that area, and I just want it to dry and settle down and just get all comfy doing what it's doing. It's just going to hang out like that. I'm going to go have lunch. I'm going to put on my makeup. It may be 20 or 30 minutes, and then I, I'm going to come back in here and finish up my hairdo. I, don't I, I look better now, don't I? <laughs> I had lunch, I put on some makeup, I'm ready for my day, and this is the last thing I do. So, I went up, my hair is completely dry, it dried all its on its own in the 20 or 30 minutes while I was doing my thing, and so now I just want to scrunch it. I just want to take my dry, clean hands and just scrunch my hair. I just kind of work out any bit of crispy, crunchy, like... The bounce curl does get a little bit of crunch to it, not a lot, just a little bit, but it, but it's a, it's good. As soon as I start doing this, it just comes right out, kind of fluffs up my hair just a little bit, and then I just do that all around until I don't have any more crunchy parts. Now I'm gonna work on my part here just a little bit. If some hair is hanging over here and it needs to be over here, I will very gently and very carefully pull those hair apart, the hair apart from the other hair, making sure not to create frizz and making sure not to disturb any hair that doesn't need to be disturbed. And so I just kind of work on this part area for a minute, go around, fluff, 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 check my hair in the mirror, and I'm done. That's it, y'all. I don't mess with my hair. I don't pick at my hair. I don't use a curling iron on my hair. That's it. And every day my hair may look a little different and that's fine. That is totally fine with me. This part area tends to change all the time. Um, there are some days when this hair wants to get over here and it's really heavy. Like see this one right here? I probably could pull that down over here, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to let it be. It ha seems to be happy over there today. So the last thing I do to my hair is use my Pantene air spray, not hairspray, air spray, and it's a two dot. It is like a super, super, super flexible light hold, and I'll just do a couple spritzes on my hair. I like to get my hair back off of my face right here and kind of crunch it together. That hairspray gets inside of my curls and kind of holds them in place a little bit better. And that's it. Off I go. So this is my current gray hair routine. My white hair, my silver hair. These are the products I love. My shampoo, my conditioner, my hair products, my hairspray, and this is how I style my hair. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you. I hope you find it interesting. And if you have curly hair, one of the most important things to just remember is that you have to embrace your curls. Let them do what they want to do. Yes, you can guide them with your finger. When I was doing that twisting, I was kind of gently guiding the curls in the correct direction. So that twisting just kind of, uh, it kind of gives it a little nudge, tells it where I want it to go. And then for the most part, you just got to let your curls be. That's when they look natural and fresh. And honestly, you look your best. So thanks for joining me in the bathroom. If you have any questions about my gray hair routine, the products I use, how I do anything, just comment below and I'll let you know. And all of the products that I use are available on Amazon, I think. And I'll put links to all of those in the description box below. So if you want to try any of them out, I'll have them there for you. So thanks for joining me in the bathroom and I'll see you later.